hi everyone welcome to this session where we will learn about the python numpy methods like stack column stack horizontal stack vertical stack the sequence depth wide stack or a d stack and the concatenate method okay so let's start with the stack method so suppose we have the two arrays array 1 is 10 20 30 and array 2 is 40 50 60 okay these are the elements so if we apply the stack method okay np dot the, the syntax is what i have shown here np dot stack and then you have to pass the array 1 followed by array 2 and you will get the output 10 20 and 30 followed by 40 50 and 60 so if you see the stacking is nothing but this array will be kept on top of this array so and even if you don't provide the axis and if you provide the axis is zero the output will be like this so how it will if i run the this is my python editor vs code okay i'm trying first time in python vs editor and uh, code with harry is the best place you can uh, get and uh, like install the vs code now suppose if you have the two arrays 10 20 and 30 40 50 and 60 np dot stack and then you'll say arr1 comma arr2 okay now what will happen here and we'll say now if we apply stack okay on array 1 and array 2 and when we apply and when we print this then what will be the output you can see here so you can see here the i have the very first array is 10 20 30 and the second array is 40 50 60 the moment i apply np dot stack okay okay the moment i apply np dot stack without any access parameter then my first array will be like directly on top of the another okay and even if you pro provide the, your access parameter axis is equals to zero and again you run this we will get the same output okay now this is very simple when we are applying axis is equal to what happens if we give the axis is equals to one so in that case what happens the first element of the first array and the uh, first element of the second array will form the first row then the first second element of the first array and the second element of the second array will form the second row and so on so if we apply this here it will change this okay we'll make it as axis is equals to one and we will run this We'll clear it okay and then we will run it so you can see here right whatever i have shown you in my presentation it exactly matches with what i am showing here now till now it's very simple it's simply one rows and three columns right now what happens if we move into a multi-dimensional array in that case how it will behave so this is my my array one is like 10 20 30 110 120 and 130 and the, again the second array is 40 50 60 and 140 150 160 in if i apply the np dot stack okay first we'll see with axis is equals to zero what will happen whatever is my array the entire array will be on top of the second array if you can see 10 20 30 110 120 130 you can see this entire array will be on top of the second array okay so you provide the axis is equals to zero or you don't provide axis it doesn't matter it will be the same but the moment if you apply the axis is equals to one then what happens you can see here the first row of the first array and the second row and the first row of the second array will form one matrix okay you can see here and again the second row of the first array and the second row of the second array will form the another matrix and this is how this the uh a stack will work for axis is equals to one let's apply this in the python code now i will say okay now what i will do is i will simply run this okay and we'll see what is the output okay if you see here my first array is uh, like this and second array is what i have created now what if i apply this what if i apply it without any access okay and then again i will apply this with axis equals to one it's equal to zero not one because uh, zero and without if you are not specifying it's the same so if we run this the first array is 10 20 30 the second array is 40 50 60 140 150 160 right now the output of the array will be the same what i have shown here is like np dot stack right 
in this case, we have 10, 20, 30, 110, 120, 130, right? So you can see here 10, 20, 30, 110, 120, 130, and followed by at the back, that's a second uh, array. If you see, it will be 40, 50, 60, 140, 150, 160. So it will be 40, 50, 60, 140, 150, 160. And similar is the case when we pass axis is equal to zero. So I believe it is like very easy now to understand. Now, if what if we give axis is equals to one? Okay. And then we'll clear this and we'll run it again. For this output of this and this is same 10, 20, 30. Now, but in the last output, okay. The output of stack when we are giving axis is equal to one. You can see here 10, 20, 30, and 40, 50, 60 is being formed into one matrix, and the other, the second row of the first matrix and the second row of the second matrix is in the other uh, matrix because this is nothing but a two dimensional array. Okay, so I believe till here I'm able to make you understand the concepts of the stack. If you see, this is my uh, like the stacking for the axis equal to one, axis equal to zero, we are done. Then we will move to the next topic, which is column stack. Column stack is nothing but if you have a two array and if you want to apply the column stack, then you will simply uh, give this syntax np dot column stack and you give the uh, array one and array two and then you will get this value 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So let's uh, apply here. Okay, this is my array one and this is my array two and I have commented all the thing which is not required here because we, I don't need to write it again and again. So uh, I will simply go and execute this. Okay, I will. Let's up run it again. So you can see here, the first array is this, second array is 40, 50, 60, and the output of column stack is nothing but it is converted. Like the first element of first stack and the second element, uh, first element of second stack is formed into one row. The second element of uh, first uh, array and the second element of second array is again formed in the second row. And similarly, now what if we have more than one dimension? This is the case. In this case, how my column stack will behave? So what I am going to do, I will simply comment this control slash and then I will uncomment this line. And now how my column stack is going to behave. So let's execute this. So you can see here it is nothing but it is being horizontally one after the another. This 10, 20, 30, uh, 110, it is, this is my first array till 30 and 130 and this is my second array 40 50 60 140 150 160 like exactly like here what i have shown you can pause the video and you can understand what i'm trying to explain here now after this we'll go with the horizontal stack so what i will do i'll again copy the entire thing because it will help us we don't need to write it again and again i'll close this i'll open file then i have horizontal stack here okay Control A, Control B. And I'll clear this. I will comment this and I'll uncomment this. Okay, let's move with horizontal. In, in the case of horizontal stack, what it will happen? See, this is my array, array 1 and array 2. If we apply np.h stack, just 10, 20, 30 will be followed by 40, 50, 60. Okay, so if we apply it here, you can see here, right? 10, 20, 30 and follow, followed by 40, 50, 60 in, in just one array. Okay. It is not like two dimensions, it's a single dimensional array which is being formed. What happens if the number of dimension changes in this case? So what we'll do here, we will simply comment this and we will uncomment this. Okay. Now in this case, what happens? Similarly to uh, like what we have faced before 10, 20, 30, 110, 120, 130 will be, this is my first array. And this will be like joined with the second array and this is the output what we have okay so we'll apply it here we'll say the output of h stack is okay exactly the way i have shown you right the output 10 20 30 110 120 130 40 50 60 140 150 160 is this so my horizontal stack concept is clear now what about the next Vertical stack. Vertical stack is nothing but you are you are adding one on top of the other element. Like you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then we need to apply V stack. So it will be 
10, 20, 30 on top of 40, 50, 60. So how do we apply it here? What we'll do, we'll uncomment this and this will comment this. And the output of V stack. And here we will save it as change it as V stack. Okay. Now, please note in uh, B stack and in uh, X stack, we don't have any uh, parameter like access. So that's why I'm not showing you any example on the access related to this uh, methods. So let's apply. We'll clear this. Now let's apply. So what? So we have this 10, 20, 30 and 40, 50, 60 as a second array. Now we'll apply vertical stack. So you can see the stack one or the array one is being stacked on the second array on top of the second array. Okay. Now we'll come in this. We will comment this okay and we will uncomment the second array the second set of two dimensional arrays and now if we apply what will happen so this is for one dimension it is very simple now for two dimensional how it will work it will be again the same my first array will be stacked on the second array you can see here this is my first array and this is my second array so if we apply it here so you can see here the first array is like stacked on the second array okay so i believe this is not very complicated complicated this is very simple now we will learn about the d stack of how it will work in d stack we will simply we'll follow the same approach uncomment and comment this because first we'll go with the one dimensional array and then we'll go with the two dimensional array and here instead of v stack we have to mention the in depth or depth y uh, d stack or the depth y stack so how my d stack will work so suppose I have two arrays this and if we apply D stack, then the first element of the first array and the first element of the second array will form this uh, first row of my output array. And similarly, the second element of the first array and the second element of the second array will form the second row and the third element of the first array and the third element of the last uh, second array will form the third uh, row. And this is how it is done. So let's apply this. You can see here, right? 10, 20, 30, 40. So this is a, now what if my number of dimension is more than one? Okay. In this case, what will happen? What I've said, the first element of the first array will combine with the first element of the second array. So this is my 10, 20, then 20 will combine with 50. This is 20, 50. And then the third element of the first array will combine with the third element of the second array and especially the first column. Okay. So 10, 40, 20, 30. 20, 50, 30, 60. Similarly, this 110 will be combined with 140, 120 will combine with 150, and 130 will combine with 160. And that's how you will form. So let's apply this. Okay. This is a mistake. Here it will be D stack. Okay. So let's apply here. Okay, let's apply here. You can see here, right? 10, 40, 20, 50, 30, 60, 110, 140, 120, 150, 130, 160 will form. And this is the output of the D stack, which is the depth wise stack. Now, now we are going in the last topic of this session, which is the concatenate. So before this, let's Okay, so what we will do, I will start with our next topic, which is concatenate. Okay, I have two arrays. Array 1 is 10, 20, 30 arrays, 2 is 40, 50, 60. And if we apply the concatenate method, then the output will be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So if we, if we execute this, you can see the output is 10, 20, now 50, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. What if we apply the axis equals to 0 and axis is equals to 1? And then we will execute this, okay? Okay, now what we'll do, what we'll do, we will uh, run this with axis, uh, without axis, then with axis equals to 0 and with axis equals to 1, what is the output, okay? Let's see. So in all the three cases, my output is this because our array is simply one dimension. But when the dimension changes, the output will not be like this. That I will be showing you in my, in a, in short, in a short while, I'll be showing you. What if, if I make the axis as one? See, for without any axis parameter, with axis parameter and with axis none, the output is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. What if the axis become one? In this case, the output will be like two rows and uh, three rows and two columns, okay? so. And it will not work simply if you apply here, the last code, a line of code will definitely, let's uh, comment this and we'll run this. Okay, if 
we run this, this will definitely fail. Yeah, because X is, is out. If you see here, there is no if the okay, I'll print some more. Print uh shape. So if you see here the uh, the like print when I have given the print, it is rows and columns is not there, that's why it is showing error. What we need to do is we need to do a reshape dot reshape three comma one. This is a typical case of one dimension array. In case of two dimension and the higher dimension, it, we will not face this issue. Okay. Now, if you run this, you will not face the issue. Okay. The output of the can cat is 1040, 2050, and 3060. This is exactly what I wanted to show. Now, what we will do here, we will go with a higher dimension array. Okay. So, in order to do that, we will Come in this two line of code, and there we will uncomment this. Now you will see what I have told you at the time just a while back uh, about whether the output if access equals to if access not mentioned, access zero, and access equals to none. If we uh, whether it will be the same in case of uh, array is more than one dimension. So let's check it out here. So I will clear this output and simply we will run this. So you can see here the my first array is 110, 120, 130, and the second array is same, same 40, 50, 60, 140, 150, 160. And the output of concatenate with axis is equal to zero and without axis parameter is the same. This and this is the same. Now, but when we give axis is none, then what it's happening, it's simply taking all the elements and it is just forming a one dimensional array. If you can see here, 10, 20, like this. When we don't give access here, what it's just forming a string with uh, it's kind of list with one dimension, okay? It's just an array with one dimension, 10, 20, 30, then 110, 120, 130, okay? Then 40, 50, 60, 140, 150, 160. Now, what if I, I run it with access is equal to one? Then what will be the output? So if you see here, if axis is equal to 1, then this 10 to this array will be joined here, okay? This and this will be joined horizontally, you can see here, right? So, we will see here, we will execute this and then we will execute this, okay? So, in case of axis equals to, no, this is will, will be 1. So, in case of axis equals to 1, my 10, 20, 30, 110, 120, 130 will be joined here, right? So, this is how my concatenate will work and the axis equals to none plays a different role when we have the number of dimensions different okay so that is important thing so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button subscribe to the, and also please refer my videos to your friend uh, and i'll be coming up with my net next videos which is related to the python lambda expression python lambda function and then python functions okay and a lot more yet to come. so we'll see you in my next video thank you